In Shulchan Aruch, Archaim Simen Tafresh Tzadi Hei, Saif Beis, the Rema says, Some say you don't have to drink so much, but you drink and you go to sleep, and once you're sleeping, you don't know the difference between curses Haman and blesses Mordechai, and that is how you fulfill Rava's statement of Mechayev Inish Levus Sumi Bepuraya de Loyada. Drink so much so that you don't know the difference between Haman and Mordechai. The source is from the Maharil. The Mishnah Bura in Seif Kotten Hay comments on this and says, Vechen Ra'ui La Asois. And this is the appropriate way for one to conduct himself. So this seems strange. You go to sleep in order to fulfill a mitzvah. Where do we find that you go to sleep in order to do mitzvahs? Perhaps the answer is that when one goes to sleep, he shows his ultimate trust in the Riboy Nishanoida. It's not our ingenuity and strategic plans that will win wars and will bring us Mashiach and the Geula. It's all up to HaKadosh Baruch Just like it was in the days of Mordechai and Esther. They didn't know, Klai Yisrael didn't know where salvation will come from. So they let HaKadosh Baruch Hu run the show, even though HaKadosh Baruch Hu's behest their party. It's concealment. Yet, they trusted HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So do we do the same thing. We let HaKadosh Baruch Hu run the world. We go to sleep, showing the ultimate trust when we go to sleep. It's a testimony that we are in the hands of the Riboy Neshiloyden. And we trust Him. He will bring the salvation and not us. It comes out that one goes to sleep and Purim. He realizes that even though we have Hamans today, Hamans going around trying to kill us, to destroy all of us, understands that it's not about me, it's about HaKadosh Baruch He will run the show, but we have to demonstrate the utmost in Emunah and Bitachon. And by going to sleep, we do just that.